some most interesting music from Ottorino Respighi. His Christus from 1898-99, so when he was just 18 years old. Carlo Gaefer was the tenor, Roland Herman the baritone, Gaston Sarti the bass, and the Swiss-Italian radio choir and orchestra were conducted by Marco Balderi. Well, that's the end of our Saturday matinee. Our thanks go to Rex Burgess for selecting the music. This is Ross Hayes, and I'll be with you soon for the Sydney Schubert Society program. Hello again, Ross Hayes with you on 2MBS Fine Music Sydney, and I'm presenting the Sydney Schubert Society program. Well, before we go to the music, just a reminder of our next Schubertiada on the 2nd of July, 2.30pm at St Columba uh, Church, that's 53A, Ocean Street, Wallara, and you can hear emerging artists playing Schubert chamber music and details of that to be advised. Well, this evening we have music by two of Schubert's friends and music by him which involved his friends. And from his friend and fellow Austrian composer Anselm Huttenbrenner's first string quartet, Schubert took a fairly unassuming theme and performed 13 variations on it for your first piece. Uh, Schubert described Huttenbrenner in one of his manuscripts as my coffee, wine and punch brother. Well, it seems that there may have been a lot of wine and punch because Huttenbrenner's memoirs of those years with Schubert were found to contain a few inaccuracies when people examined them more deeply. But that aside, the relationship did produce some wonderful music. And here is the Huttenbrenner Variations, played by, on the piano by Sviatoslav Richter. Vladislav Brunner was the soloist in that performance of Romberg's Flute Quintet in E minor, his opus 41, number 1. This is 2MBS Fine Music Sydney, Fine Music Digital, and streaming at 2MBSFineMusicSydney.com. Like Romberg, and indeed like Beethoven, Ferdinand Ries was born in Bonn and he became the great composer's friend, pupil, sometime copyist, and in many ways promoter. But he fled to London to evade conscription in the French army then occupying his homeland. While there, he more or less introduced the British public to the music of Beethoven. London audiences also loved his own music, but the work we're to hear is from later in his life when he'd returned to Germany. It's his cello sonata in A, and it's performed now by Guido Larisch with Robert Hill at the Forte Piano.